Brent Rivera. This dude thinks he's the main character. In my last video, I looked at a clip of him egoing another YouTuber by the name of Tyler Oliveira. And it was just giving me these main character type of vibes. Where he thought he was Himothy and it, it, the world revolved around him. Basically saying he was above Tyler Oliveira. Like he and his crew are not normal guests. Way to our hotel tour. I ran into them again. Brent Rivera's right there. We get that louder. We're filming our thing. You yeah. film yours. Why did you walk up to us? Yeah. Like, Brent really lost himself that feud there. So he was just taking a dump on Tyler's equipment, and one I think one of his crew members said, like, go have fun with your 100 subscribers, even though he's got, like, two mil. Like, enter our space. It's paid $400 a night for the hotel. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, if we were normal here, guests, that would be Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Normal Dude. guests? You think Dude. you're elevated beyond an average human being? I You've ascended the human... Back, uh, back wait, back who are you? So, yeah, in this confrontation, they basically just put... Or Brent Rivera put himself and his crew above Tyler for basically no reason because he thinks he's above him due to a sub count or something. I don't know, man. This dude needs to be humbled like right now. Like Brent, bro, we're, we're not going to let this slide. Said this. Yeah, I appreciate both of you have been very cooperative sure. and compliant with us and I appreciate you yeah. being reasonable about it. For sure. My apologies. Sorry, guys. All right. No, no. Thank you. This dude even called 12 to get this guy kicked out. Like you, you are a baby boy, a big whiny cry baby. I know Tyler was all up in their business when they were filming in a video but still brent should have defused this respectfully and not ego him like he's got his own anime art. is it true you kissed your sister brent after begging for the almighty brent to forgive me he called the cops wait he did what now brent 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 yo you, you gotta be stopped bro oh my god if this is true of course this dude's gotta be posted up in alabama or something that is just gross <laughs> that is some opposition behavior right there. Brent, forgive him, bro. Put your main character syndrome to the side. Learn to forgive, man. Like, come on, he's begging for- Look at me, he's on his hands and knees begging. Brent, come on. I recently saw a viral video of two YouTubers arguing in a hotel hallway. Well, one of those YouTubers was me. Wait, you were one of the YouTubers in that conflict? What? Yo, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Things quickly get taken out of context, so here's the full picture. So right when I was about to pull a prank on my friends in a hotel, this guy came up to me yelling and accused me of faking the prank. Yelling? What? He didn't even yell. He just said, what's going on here? That that's it. He was just confused. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he did yell. I mean, if he had footage to back himself up, then... And so far for yelling, all we have is this. Ooh, you'll see. Ooh. Who are you people? Oh my god. Oh, that was so loud, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for blowing out your eardrums. I didn't know raising your voice to communicate with someone was so disruptive to the point where you needed to be kicked out. And I'm not saying all my pranks are real, but this one was. Eh, I don't know about that one. But whatever, you can make your cringe content. Doesn't really bother me that much. We were just minding our own business filming a video, so this was really frustrating given the amount of time, energy, and money we put into these videos. Oh, really? Were you really minding your own business? And what's this? It's right there. Oh, yeah. You were the one who started the confrontation. Sure, he was filming you, but you were the one who initiated the confrontation, and I would not let that disrespect slide like that. Was to make great content for you guys. And as the night went on, he continued to approach us with his camera, saying awful things about me, my friends, and my sister to try and get a rise out of me for his video. Okay, I don't know what's good with the whole sister thing, but no, I think it's just a rumor. If he's pulling it out of thin air, I probably would not have said that. That I did what he wanted, I stooped down to his level, and I said something that I should not have said. Your okay, at least he admitted he shouldn't have said that. We're filming again, this time while we were on a tour. His actions toward us and other guests on the tour caused the hotel staff, not me, to call security. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was the hotel staff doing that. I think this was all you. This this clip right here, it's not looking good for you. Bro. Like, if, unless you just release a bunch of footage from your perspective, then I won't believe you. All I can do is be real with you guys and admit that I could have handled it by not saying anything and just walking away. Thank you, Brent. This is... This is beautiful. All hearsay didn't really have much proof. I don't know, man. Th that last clip should have just been your whole response. But most of the stuff you were saying about Tyler didn't really check out except for the whole sister thing. But he responded, so I just wanted to add that in. I mean, that's a shot. I, I don't know. I think it whiffed honestly. But yeah, will I ever watch Brent Rivera in the future? Nope. Nope. But I think I'd react to him for content because it'd be pretty entertaining. I had the worst birthday ever. I woke up in a great mood, but when I went downstairs to eat breakfast, my mom didn't say anything to me. Okay, oh, hey, mom. Okay, now this is all starting to make sense why I even made the short. He's an anime protagonist, guys. That That's why. He's got his own anime lore that storyboarders of an anime company developed for him. That's why. 
speak to me. Okay, mom. Wash the dishes when you're done. How can my own mom forget it was my birthday? Thinking my- Okay, no wonder you had the worst birthday ever. Dog, What? what is that cereal? Nature's Path? It looks disgusting, bro. What is that? That looks like the most Buddha cheek cereal on the planet, bro. I'd rather get caught eating one of them knockoff cereals like Fruit Spins or something. I'd rather eat a bag of Ditos than eat this cereal. It looks way more appetizing than whatever the hell this cereal is. You also didn't say anything. Do you know what day this is today? Wednesday? Yeah, but what else? Oh, I have a nail appointment today. Thanks for reminding me. As the day went on, I heard nothing from my friends. This dude's gonna get me copyright claim, bro. That, and now, every time I hear that song, I just think of Brent Rivera and his goofy-ass cartoon walk. Come to your house? Maybe they didn't ever after all. Preparing myself for whatever- Now you see what I mean? This dude's walking like a cartoon character over here. This is something I would see straight out of Looney Tunes, for real. It looks like he's listening to that one royalty-free track that it sounds like you're walking in a family-friendly park. Yeah, that track. He's definitely that type of guy to remind people of his birthday like a week in advance or like a couple weeks in advance like guys it's my birthday don't forget to give me attention well actually my birthday is a week from today january 25th or whatever the hell was it a surprise party i couldn't believe my eyes they did remember hey yo brent bro what do you mean by that okay i'm just playing that could get taken out of context so easily I was crushed. Everyone forgot my birthday. Please subscribe to wish me a happy birthday. Look at this guy. He's not even happy to celebrate someone else's birthday even though they share a birthday. Wow, that's that's sad. That's sad, Brent. I know this is a stage video, most likely, but this is something a main character would direct, if that makes sense. Maybe this is like his worst nightmare. Like, no, oh, everyone forgot my birthday. Uh. I don't know if anyone would want to sub to anyone who has a huge ego and has severe main character syndrome. So today, I snuck into my sister's room and found her old iPhone 5. After going through my old iPhone and seeing all the cringy photos and videos, I knew we were going to find some juicy stuff that could possibly expose her. I tried to yeah, that is just plain weird, dog. Bro's stalking his sister's phone. He's definitely that one dude that like creeps in the bushes with his binoculars. He probably has like a, a bush costume that he wears around. And he just goes around creeping in his little bush. Oh my god. Yeah, we did not need to see that. You know, like me, man, I, I left my edgy phase behind closed doors. I think you could do the same. Or your e-boy phase or whatever this is. Me personally, I would want to keep that behind closed doors. I don't know why you would want to revisit that. But you do you, I guess. Well, lock it, but I ran into a problem. There was a password. What could her password be? One, two, three, four. Oh my god, it worked. After I got in, I couldn't help notice all the old apps. Like what? There's a password on a phone? Yeah, that's crazy. But why do you want to expose your sister to your 25 million? Million subs like that that's just a shitty thing to do i know this is a stage video and all but still he's looking through his sister's old phone that is just find the old instagram and even the old youtube app and it all works after i went through her camera roll and saw a bunch of old selfies she took what that's lexi i went to her text messages and i saw her sending heart emojis and kissy faces there was only one thing left to do <laughs> damn you don't have to go through the text messages that that's that's just wild i don't even know if this is actually was ben azalart that sent this but but bro was risen up whoever this is sheesh man yeah and the other video the, the texts were far cringier because they were sent by Brent Rivera. Better not let that slide, Ben. Spin the block. So, I was minding my own business, and there she was. The girl of my dreams. Oh, damn. Yo, use that main character, Riz, bro. You got this. Just say you got 25 mil on YouTube. All yours. Guaranteed, 100%. It's gonna work. Oh, damn. She was perfect in every way. I knew I had to get her attention, but how? Turns out the answer was right in front of me. There's nothing girls love more than a guy. Don't tell me this dude's gonna pretend to have an expensive car. Like, hey, this is, uh, this is my car. You like it? He's one of them. He's definitely the type of guy to embarrass his friends just so he can impress girls. That is crazy behavior, Brent. He definitely puts them down instead of, like, hypes them up. Girls love more than a guy with an expensive sports car. I went to lean up against it as if it was mine, and sure enough, her eyes shifted towards me and the sexy car. She started- This video displays negative Riz right here. What the hell was that? He's looking like a whole-ass bot sitting on that car. Like, he doesn't even look comfortable on it. Like, you could tell easily it's not his car if this was a real scenario. I'm walking over. I is she gonna be into me? Is she gonna ask for a ride? Brent, you're folding, bro. You, you can't freak out like, uh, 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 like, bro, his mind is like in panic mode. Like, it's probably like that one episode from SpongeBob where there's like a bunch of SpongeBobs running around, like where his mind is like going ballistic. Get off my car. Subscribe if you're single like me. Ooh, damn. Oh my God, Brent, you just got owned. There is no coming back from that. You tried to use her own car to riz her up, all right? You, 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 
Brent. That is just Tuffington. That's all I got to say to this. So I just got a new pair of white shoes and decided today was a perfect day to wear them. But then my day took a turn. Brent, you did not just get the slide on Vans, bro. Me personally, I think you're rocking some negative drip with the shoes. Like, I swear, that's something I'd see my dad wear. I don't know, like the little slide on shoes. I don't know. I could be wrong. People could be rocking this. Like, it's the uh, maybe it's a latest fashion trend I don't know about. Today was a perfect day to wear them. But then my day took a turn. Hey, you just got my shoes dirty. You gotta look where the hell you're walking, dog. Like, damn. You just paid, like, I don't know, 50 bucks for that. I don't know. I don't know how much vans are. But you just paid 50 bucks just for it to get stepped on and disrespected. Brent, do not let that slide. After scrubbing them, putting them in the washing machine, and even going to the shoe shiner at the mall, it was time to give up and get a new pair of shoes. Dog, it literally looks like you put on it. It looks worse. How does it look worse when it gets out of the washer? Why would you even chuck your shoes in the washer in the first place? Clean them. Don't just throw it in the washer and call it a day. But this time, I wasn't taking any chances. I knew I had to protect these like my life. Damn, you did not have to WWE slam takedown your friend like that. Jesus, dude. Damn, bro will do anything for those shoes, I guess. He just really loves to slide on vans. I don't know, maybe watch where you're going and don't step foot in a yard. I get it. Hey, hey, watch the shoes, watch the shoes. I was treating these white shoes like they were my babies. Hey, hey, hey man. We got a main character in the building. Watch the shoes now. All right, do not step. Comment Brent if he made it as far. Thank you to my members. I know it was a different video today, but you know what? I had nothing. No ideas. So yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video though. Peace.